What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. And tonight's video is a pickups video. I'm excited to show you guys some of the things I've grabbed over the last two weeks. So without any further ado guys, let's dive right in. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this. Uh, I'm not going to play it really loud, but it is an ocarina shaped obviously like the Hylian Shield. Uh, this is a six hole ocarina. Um, picked this up at the um, <clears throat> Renaissance Festival that I went to a few weeks ago and uh, thought it was really, really cool and uh, picked this up and I've been learning to play. So, um, yeah, really happy I grabbed that. Right. Um, next item was a Goodwill pickup. Uh, this was $5. And that is an Xbox 360 Connect. A uh, little scratched up, but other than that, everything works. And... Uh, couldn't pass it up for five bucks so i snatched that up i've actually come across a few of these lately uh, another goodwill pickup i got a few of these um dragon ball z budokai for the playstation 2 this is a complete copy Also picked up Tony Hawk's Pro, Sk Pro Skater 3 for the PlayStation 2. You guys know about Tony Hawk. Another clean, complete copy. Uh, then I picked up this game for the Wii, which is Rockstar Table Tennis. I uh, used to have this for the 360 and absolutely love this game back in the day uh grab this for a dollar fifty complete couldn't leave it behind also picked up fracture for the xbox 360 i've never played this game before um but interested in checking out the solo campaign uh done by lucas arts this one is missing the manual but um, got this for two bucks, I think. I was really happy to grab Max Payne 3 for the 360. I'm a huge fan of the Max Payne series. And this one is complete with both discs. And it's got some, oh, that thing back there. But another nice, complete, clean copy. Then I already have this, but I picked this up as well. We fit you. Uh, this was $1.50. And like I guess I already have it, but for $1.50, I figured I'd grab another copy and throw it in the collection. Um, now I got this bundle for $15. Super happy about this. Uh, this is one of my favorite party games and that is guitar hero 2 for the playstation 2 this is a complete copy it is in nice shape and for 15 dollars i also got the guitar that goes with it and you don't see the ps2 guitars out in the wild very often this one is in really nice shape all of the buttons feel basically brand new. Whammy bar, still awesome. It did have some stickers on here that were kind of peeling off, so I cleaned that off. Um, I had to do one more little cleaning. Um, these two are actually hanging on pretty good, so I figured I would leave those two on there. Um, but yeah, for 15 bucks, I got the game and the guitar and 
this thing is uh, like I said it's just really nice to find one in this shape out in the wild uh, and for the pair I just couldn't leave it behind. I love the Guitar Hero series, so really happy to add that. Then I also picked up another copy of Zelda Wind Waker for the Wii U. This is my third copy. I have the regular cover version of this, but I did not have the gold foil cover and then I also have the Nintendo Selects version sealed uh, in the package still. But I wanted to upgrade my copy to the gold foil copy, and uh, which I've already done. And um, probably keep both copies in my collection for right now, but I was really happy to add this. The other copy doesn't have the gold foil. Everything's in color, and it's nice, but look at that. I mean, that's just awesome. Then I got one more Wii U game. This brings me down to 16 games needed for a complete North American set. And that is Rapala Pro Bass Fishing. This game, for some reason, is uh, pretty hard to get your hands on. And it's definitely up there in price, especially for a fishing game. Um, but this is a complete copy and really happy to add this. I picked up two switch titles the first one is hellpoint and this looks like a dark souls style first person or third person game um, very interesting looking game uh, but i got this uh, pre-owned for 17 or something like that um, but uh, looks like a pretty interesting game this outfit here reminds me a little bit of the dead space outfit um, but I've watched some gameplay footage and this looks pretty cool. So, uh, actually excited to check this out. Then I also got a sealed copy of Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. Um, at some point I might open this because my girlfriend would like to play these games. Uh, but went ahead and snatched up a copy of this. I picked up one PSP game, and that is a complete copy of Silent Hill Origins. I uh, was really, really happy to grab this. Um, now I am looking for Shattered Memories for the PSP, but this is a nice complete copy, and actually it had two copies of the manual inside, so um, pretty pretty happy about that but uh really happy to have silent hill and then i grabbed one vita game and that is silent hill book of memories uh this is one i've been looking to add to the collection for quite a while uh i wish i'd have jumped on it <laughs> when it was cheaper um this game's definitely gone up in price this is um, very little to do, honestly, with the Silent Hill games. It's more a game that takes place in the world of Silent Hill. But as far as gameplay goes, this is more of a Diablo-style game. Um, Top-down type, isometric, uh, hack and, or beat 'em up or hack-and-slash, and loot type of game. Um... But uh, this is made by Way Forward, and they do a ton of fantastic games. So uh, really glad to have another Vita title and another Silent Hill game. Now, if you guys remember, I had a copy, a loose copy of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon that I was trying to complete. Well, I was able to complete it so i can get it open that was my loose copy and i got the case and the manual and the um you know slips back here so really really happy to now have a complete copy of fire emblem shadow dragon for the ds and the funny story about this is 
uh, started off with the loose cart and trying to get a complete copy of this ended up with almost two complete copies because this one is just missing the manual um so i ended up piecing my copy together but almost getting two complete copies for the same price as one complete copy so uh, i was able to finagle and work some deals to get basically uh, my copy for free if i wanted to sell this or flip it or trade it um, but for right now i'm just going to keep both copies in my collection um and uh, yeah, really happy to have two of those now. I also got a complete copy of Contra 4 for the DS. Super, super awesome Contra game. This is as good as the original two, in my opinion. Uh, back to the 2D side scrolling, um, dual screens. Uh, so you have to look out for enemies from above, shooting down into the bottom screen. You also have a grappling hook that you can shoot up to get up to the second area. This game is just chock full of fun, great music, uh, great gameplay, absolutely fantastic. If you guys are Contra fans and you don't have this game, this is a must in your Contra collection. Then you guys saw that I just recently got a complete copy of Aliens Infestation for the DS, and I also got a minty sealed copy of the same game. Um, I believe in that video I said that this was on its way, but I had not received it yet. Uh, but I did go ahead as another way forward title. And um, this game, if I remember correctly, is also in cahoots with way forward uh well, i can't see it right here but i'm pretty sure this game is also a uh, way forward title as well but i um, really happy to have a complete copy of this and a sealed copy of this this game is fantastic guys if you're a fan of aliens and you have a ds um, pick this game up now before it just continues to go through the roof this is a rare title that came out, uh, I think it was either 7 or 11 weeks after the Nintendo 3DS was uh, released. So uh, this was a late title and really, really good. I just um, completed this game a couple of weeks ago and had an absolute blast. And I also got um, a Virtual Boy game. And that is Nestor's Funky Bowling. Now, this is a uh, secondary case, obviously, um, but that's what it came in. Um, Nestor's Funky Bowling. Uh, so I am only three titles short of a complete North American Virtual, virtual Boy set. And I need um, Waterworld, Jack Bros, which I'll probably never own. And then I also need... Uh, Tetris, uh, 3D Tetris or whatever it's called. Those are the only three North American Virtual Boy games I do not have. But I uh, thought this was pretty cool. Um, this came in the uh, custom case. Also has this cap on it as well. I am missing some of these caps for some of my cartridges, but these damn things are like $12 a piece on eBay. It's just absolutely insane. But uh, pretty cool to have that um, in this custom case here. But just a basic uh, bowling game, but um, uncommon even for the uh, Virtual Boys. So glad I picked that up. And then the last couple things I grabbed at Goodwill. And the first one came in this case. Came with these loose games. Paws and Claws Pet Vet. Wizards of Waverly Place. 
Just give me a second. I'm getting to the good stuff here. Uh, Disney's Planes for the 3DS. Those are both DS titles, obviously. Lego Jurassic World for the 3DS. All right, so all of that right there, those four games, which are, you know, nothing to write home about. The uh, dingy case, which I need to clean. And this for 11 bucks. And this is the Aqua Teal 3DS. Uh, this thing was disgusting, um, but I cleaned it up. Now, it does have some scratching. It's got one deep scratch there and there. Uh, some light scratches along the top. Little dings around the corners, but everything is perfect. Works perfect. The bottom's actually really clean. This thing is in pretty nice shape overall. Just the top has some scratches on it. And a couple little scratches on the bottom screen. And then it's got the marks that I'm still trying to get off from the screen protector. Um, but this thing works like a charm. And I picked this up with all of that stuff for $11. So I was really happy to uh, pick this up here. This thing works fantastically, and I couldn't believe that I saw this there for $10.99 is what they had on it. So, snatch that up. So, a great little package there. And then, the other last item was this red. 3DS and inside of this was Zelda Phantom Hourglass a loose copy of this for the DS and again this one just has some light scratches on the top I'll let you take a look at the sides there just a couple little dings These were definitely owned by kids, but other than the little dings on the sides here, this one is overall in great shape as well. Even used 3DSs are very hard to get in nice shape. Um, they just didn't make them, um, you know, very, very well when it comes to, you know, scratches and stuff like that. This bottom screen is really nice. Everything is just really nice. And then again, where the screen protector was, I'm still trying to get some of those lines off. But overall, this thing is fantastic. And again, for this system and the Zelda game was $10.99. So I was just blown away. Couldn't believe it. So, two Nintendo 3DSs for $22. Not to mention the games that came with it. So, pretty excited about both of those. I love adding handhelds to my ever-growing handheld collection. And... Those are my pickups for the last couple of weeks, guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's pickups video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, guys, think about subscribing and give me a big thumbs up. That always helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And also go check out my Instagram page. It is Steve Craig Retro Games, same as it is down below. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for the comments. I really appreciate all the love and support, and um, I am super excited because a week from today, I will be going to Siege, and I am excited to meet a bunch of you guys there. So uh, if any of you guys are going to the Southeastern Game Exchange um, next weekend and you see me, 
say hello. I'd love to say hi to you guys. Um, so until next Monday, uh, actually Tuesday because it's the 4th, so Monday's video will drop on Tuesday due to that. Um, but until then, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe out there and keep gaming.